everybody, JC here from Toy News International, and I'm here at the New York Toy Fair with Jim Fletcher from DC Collectibles. Oh, wait, DC Direct. Thank um, you. Nice, nice job. <laughs> So um, I guess we'll, let's start with there. So you guys just announced this week that you yeah. are are renaming yourselves or going uh, back to basics. Back to basics. So, <laughs> yeah. so you're going back to your original name of DC Direct yep. from DC Collectible. So can you kind of just talk about what was the reasoning behind the name change? You know, we're going back to dedicating ourselves to a lot of stuff that comes out of editorial. We've gotten a lot of different directions over the years, especially since the move. Uh, to California, we thought, you know what, DC Direct, it's, it says what it's supposed to be. It's, you know, the stuff was originally direct from the source. And we're like, you know what, let's just put it back, go back to DC Direct. I mean, there are a lot of DC collectibles out there, uh, but there's only one DC Direct. <laughs> <laughs> when um, when will we see, What what's the first product we'll see released that has the old, new DC Direct? I, think, I right think if I'm right, the Todd McFarlane Batman Black and White 100 will have that logo. Okay. Okay. Pretty sure we got that out the door in time. Now, um, behind I was us, say don't quote me, but too late. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna maybe, do? Maybe, maybe it'll be the top. <laughs> maybe. Um, so behind us, we've got the new uh, Batman an animated series slash Batman Adventures continues action figures. So you yeah. kind of actually, you guys kind of were ahead of the game last year when you first started kind of showing these figures off before yep. the comic book series. So my first big question is when you when you started this line, did you know that the comic series was going to be going in effect, or is it just no. kind of happenstance? Well, here's the thing. I mean, a lot of when we first of all when we started this line, we were we were so happy it worked the way it did originally because you know I'm just it was such a great show and going back and doing all the toys after all these years when, and then when it took off we're like yes great <laughs> so we said so then we're trying to figure out okay what are we going to do to keep this line going because at some point you're going to run out of characters and we hit a, a lot of people we wanted to do and even we did the gotham like gpcd5 pack we had montoya in there and we're like wow i don't know how much further we can stretch this thing out we did that giant bat wing and the in the car and everything else so we said what's what if we started doing characters that are popular now that couldn't have been on the show like Deathstroke and, um, you know, and and Red Hood and a bunch of other people that are popular. So we had some prototypes and sculpted up. Uh, we talked to Paul Dini about it. And we're like, hey, we're going to do this thing. And like, who would you want to see? And he gave us a couple of ideas. Then we went to our editorial team and we're like, we're going to do this. So they're like, oh, if you're going to do that, we definitely support it with a comic. So they reached back out to Paul and were like, would you want to write this? So I'm like, oh my God, like that guy's <laughs> going to write it? So, I mean, what's cool is we've got a few of the, um, you know, I know they released some of the pages, but, you know, there's a, the cover here, the first couple of pages. I love it. I know yeah. it's a variant cover, but That's I love it. That's a variant that. cover, yeah. So, um, unfortunately, we can't film any other pages, but there's some of them. But you nice. can look at this later with the camera. All right, all right. But anyway, yeah, so what's really cool about this, like, you know, Red Hood looks great already. We have this Batman man who laughs over here. He's such a big character. Big character, yeah, Bob. And this Thomas Wayne Batman and the Court of Owls guy that just set up yesterday, the Talon, they look they look so cool. Like they could have definitely been on the show. The the challenge with this thing was having Ty Templeton try to streamline them so they weren't like super complicated. Because this character design, plus you have the Talon, it's got all kinds of like noodly stuff all over it. And like, how do we take these and make them kind of simplify them so they fit into the rest of the line? Awesome. I probably Azrael is one of my favorite ones. I just I always like that Batman and that. Yeah, looks that's right my favorite. You had that one last year. That's definitely one of my favorite ones. Yeah, so. and the Vampire Batman. That's, yeah, that's that was a new. <laughs> that's so, pretty cool. Like, are you are you wor working with them as far as like, okay, let's get these characters into the comics? Well, we or? wanted to make sure at least some of them were going to be in the book. So I can't reveal what they're doing at the moment, but we had a lot of conversations with that team saying what we're doing. So yeah, they'll they'll some of them will definitely be in there pretty prominently featured. Nice. And if that all goes well, we'll keep going because it's just that's such a cool idea and we're really happy everyone's into it. Maybe. Over here you probably can't see it on camera, but we've got the DC Essentials line. It is continuing. So you've got the the deceased Oh yeah, deceased figures, zombie-like figures, and then you've got a new uh, Justice you just announced a new Justice League pack which is uh, same figures repaint mostly, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, is that line, will we uh, will we see continue to see, like, do you have long-term plans for that line? So what's or? funny about it, it's a good, that's a good question. So Essentials originally was just going to be, like, essential characters, like 12 characters were going to be done. However, it did really well, and everyone's like, oh, my God, these Essentials move really well, the articulation's great. So we're like, 
all right, a lot of people like them, we'll just keep going. So, yeah, when, if you get a chance for you to do some close-up shots of some gray models that just showed up yesterday of some of the deceased figures. Um, and we just, you know, the, the body types are all really similar. We can put like crazy, like, you know, ripped up face sculpts on them and stuff and make them super creepy. So we said, all right, well, we'll throw the deceased figures into the essentials line because, you know, is it, is it, I do, we had a, a, some internal conversation. It was like, is it, is it deceased Batman really an essential figure? <laughs> and I'm like, well, it works in this line of things. So we just I decided to go ahead with that. Now, do you think you'll continue to do like, regular new characters we, it's all going to depend on sales okay. I mean, at this point we'd like to but you know luckily that line is selling great so I can say I don't see why we wouldn't at this point okay just okay. and again that it's the old arm wrestling match of who's the next person you know and that's all that's when we get into all the good design fights well it's definitely good to hear that I mean last year it seemed like maybe the line was winding down so it's definitely good to hear that it's still going and everything well it was because of it wasn't supposed to go much further than 12 but yeah, we had that like, you know, you've got the Flash down there with his, you know, the, the um, Speed Force Flash, the Black Suit Superman. So there's a lot of stuff we can still do, um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, well, let's let's move on to uh, another popular okay. line, your black and white statues. Uh, oh, he's good. You, we already mentioned the McFarlane one, uh, which you guys debuted at San Diego that was a big last deal. year. Yep. Um, awesome. So anything uh, new for that line you want to yeah, talk Yeah, actually, uh, when you go to your close-up shots over there, there's a really cool piece. Uh, we did the Court of Owls Talon uh, the Batman cover. We've got like, the big monster hand, and that's got some great close-up details. So, but what's premiering at the show is we've got, let's see now, this is Batman number 101 through 106 up on the top shelf when you walk over there. So there's the Frank Miller Batman, there's the Jim Lee Batman, the Talon Batman. Uh, there's a, oh, there's a Mike Mignola Gotham, my guess like Batman. Awesome. And that's one of the ones we don't know why we just haven't done it till now. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, well, that's no brainer. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. There's a Brian Bolland Batman and then there's a, um, there's another Batman in the middle of the shelf over there, so that's all been... Well, when you walk over, you can see them there. They're pretty cool. Awesome. Now, what about bombshells? That's another popular line that you guys have been doing for a while now. Yep. Um, do you have anything new planned for that? Yeah, there's a, at the show, there's a, there's a uh, Harley uh, deluxe figure, which is like got a, a striker uh, at a carnival, and there's popcorn over the floor, and, and, and the back, there's like, like some tickets on, tickets on the ground. She's about She's testing her strength. There's a big Joker thing sculpted behind it. Uh, there's a Black Canary and uh, Green Arrow couple statue for bombshells. That's got some really nice detail like etched into the guitar and stuff that you'll see when you go look at it. And then there's a Bombshells Ivy reissue that we painted for the holiday. Awesome. And then your artist gallery, another popular huh. line that you recently so started about, what was it, about a year ago? Yeah, it's been two, going? a year and a half. Now, I was, I, first of all, I gotta say, I was really, last year you had those uh, Luchadora wrestling figures. It's <laughs> so fun. Got, uh, I was so disappointed when I heard that that was got canceled. Don't give up hope yet. Okay. They're maybe. still rolling around the office. Okay. So I'm, awesome. I'm working on some stuff with that because that was one of my, that's a real passion for me, that line. I had a lot of fun developing it. So, I mean, we'll even see, we'll had a see. ring and everything. I like, know. It's <laughs> so good. It's so great. So, yeah. So, don't worry. Okay. Could still resurface. So, but for the artist alley, what do you got on top? So artist alley is a really it's one of the favorite lines for the all the whole design team. So we can like walk around and just find people that we think are, are cool designers. And we we're, we're really happy working on all the stuff with editorial. It's like we're not doing it. We're just trying a couple different lanes to bring in some new talent. Um, so a really fun piece over there is the um, there's a guy attack Peter that we've seen for years. It's a big chunky Batman. Um, he just looks amazing. He had this poster that he, that he was going to do, and we said, you know what? We'll actually just do a statue of that. So, it's because awesome. sometimes you see stuff, it's so cool. It just has to be done. There's a Zach Heffelfinger Batman that has um, three, not one, that has one statue with three Robins on it. Awesome. Now, it's not your standard Robins, but when you walk over there, you see what I'm talking about. Um, there's a Patrick Ballesteros, uh, there's a um, design by him, a Brittany Lee piece with a Catwoman that's, that's great. Uh, she does a lot of like paper kind of cutout art, and we tried to match it in the sculpt, uh, and that's been. And there's a Brand Peters Joker, which is, pro, I don't know which one's my favorite actually. I was gonna say that one is, but it's hard to pick because they're all they're totally different. Awesome. And and designer series, another popular statue line. That's been going on a long time too. You know, it's good to see a lot of our lines just keep continuing with because people are you know I guess luckily liking what we're doing. Just yesterday, a Josh Middleton statue showed up from the Batgirl cover. I wasn't here until like late yesterday afternoon. 
So that would be a pretty new one. It's not, look, it's so new there's not even a tag that says what it is. So that's pretty cool. So, and then you've got Joker. So would it be say first first appearance? First? Yeah. Oh, awesome. No, literally it just showed up here yesterday out of a box. Awesome. And then you've got a, a Joker dancing with a Batman's cowl statue from a, one of the um, uh, Greg Capullo covers, which is really cool. It's just a really funky, like weird <laughs> Joker statue. <laughs> And then there's a Catwoman by Stanley Lau. And Stanley's stuff has been tearing up the comic book covers for DC. So whatever he does, we're like, yep. Awesome. <laughs> we'll definitely work on that. All right. And then I finish off with you know, so one of the more things. most popular character, Harley Quinn. You've got your your, your oh, red. Oh, yeah. White, Speaking of Harley one. Quinn, uh, that's good. There's two. There's a, a brand new statue by a designer, Tedesco, that was, also wasn't here yesterday. Okay. So she's like got a, 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 a bat over her shoulder when she's blowing a gumball. So... You'll see her uh, uh, over there. Uh, plus a J. Scott Campbell Harley that's brand new. That's pretty exciting. And we're introducing the Joker Clown Prince of Crime line uh, to as a companion piece for the Batman Black and White on the Harley line. Well, of course you got Harley. You got to have Mr. J. I, right? I mean, at some point we figure we're going to. And then you know, Batman's biggest arch nemesis. <laughs> how do you? I mean, what's Batman doing if Joker's not running around? Right? I mean, I mean, there's a lot of other people he can he can you know go fight with, but that's a good one. All right now, speaking of Joker. I, Obviously, the huge success of the Joker movie. Yeah, uh, it was pretty crazy. Are you guys statues or any or anything? No, anything? we're focusing, mo again, with the DC Direct brand, we're going back to focus mostly on comic book interpretations. Okay, okay. And the Joker line, well, so they, I mean, there's so many. We already have so many Jokers we want to do. Out of the comic books alone, there's like five pages with like 20 pictures on each page of this Joker, <laughs> this Joker. I mean, there's plenty of Jokers to, to go around for everybody. Oh, there's also oh, uh, also there's a great model, brand new of, of a um, deceased Batman statue that you see over there. Really? Just so you know, when you're over at the base and final, the actual base has all these storytelling elements that actually go through some of the story of deceased hidden in the base. Awesome. That one's just a big pile of rocks that uh, one of our design guys did to get here to the show. It looks great, but it's not final. <laughs> and then there's a Batman versus Batman who laughs statue that I think you already saw out. Right. Um, so that was, and I got to pull up my own pencils and design that one. So that was fun. All right, all right. Well, I think that's it. Um, I all appreciate right, you taking the time to talk with us as always. Um, look forward to seeing what you guys as DC Direct once again hey, yeah. come come out with. And um, yeah, again, thanks for talking with us. Of course, always glad to have you here. All right, JC here from Toy Fair, and uh, keep uh, tuning in to the websites for all the coverage. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great. <laughs>